Hey everyone, so I guess we've all heard about Tyrese saying that he wishes he was born Latino. We've often said, well, I've often said, and so have other people, a lot of times, you, again, you see these men, when they do well, they love to uh, transfer their wealth to other communities. Uh, the majority are self-hating. Love is love. Yes, they love skin. That's the opposite of them. And that's just facts. I know love is love. They love to love anybody who doesn't look like them. Listen, my opinion of him that the guy wasn't, again, this is my opinion. He could have his opinion about me. Not wrapped too tight, given your status, and they get on social media complaining like a weakling about child support. Remember, he did that video. <laughs> I just want my baby. My baby. I just want my baby, and no one's listening because no one's in the courtroom. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything illegal, but I don't want nobody. Oh my God, am I doing something illegal by doing this video? Or is this, am I protected by the the, the first right amendment or the amendment? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? Remember that classical moment? Now, let's get to it. Here's his post. He says, sometimes I wish I was born Latino. Wow. They just, just embarrass themselves and their group every day. So sometimes I wish I was more Latino. I mean, the Latin community is grounded in family, loyal, entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women literally represent the dream, the grind, the hustle, doing whatever it takes to stick together against all odds if us is black culture i think i'm going to say as if us is black culture was more grounded in these integral magical nuances of us we would be dominant i've learned a lot from the jewish community sticking together eating dinner every friday together i've learned a lot about the muslim community throughout all my travels in the middle east they have a father structure where they honor their fathers the Middle East, the thinking and the mentality is that they would much rather have a son over a daughter because they know there is nothing like the leadership of a father and a man being the head of the household. I have no idea how we lost our way. We can't get anything done and accomplished as a fragmented culture. Insecure. Threatened by each other. Competitive towards our own race. And killing ourselves every single day frivolously. The majority of us is black men. And the million are locked up in prison. Wow. So instead of leading by example. Instead of getting together and try to do the things that are positive. It's not rocket science. No, I'm going to just take the easy way out. This is how I see it. I'm going to take the easy way out as a self-hating black person and just say, I wish I was born Latino. They want to be everybody for who they are. I tell you, any group that has low self-esteem, don't worry. The black folks, you're going to find some chocolate drop to lift you up. To say, oh no, you is good. You is better. I wants to be you. I hates me. You wonder why I've been saying a, a black man that works for the Klan? You might as well do the very same thing. If it meant acceptance, they'd be walking around with that hood on the day. If it meant acceptance to the to the majority of society, to other cultures. Every day, just embarrass yourself. Here it is on Google. Sometime I wish I was born Latino. I mean, the community is grounded in family. Well, hold on. Let's start right there. Why don't you go talk to your brethren? The culture doesn't believe in family. We believe in fatherless home and baby mama. And heaven forbid a black woman require a family. We ain't down with that, shawty. I haven't heard you speak against the culture when we go out to these rap lyrics. Every woman is, women are called H-O-E, W-H-O-R-E. 
loving all the violence. So you see the dysfunction in this group, and so you try to run with your wealth for acceptance to another group. They still not. Lose that the money you have and see what's going to happen. See if the preference crew or Becky Boo come pick, come pick up you. Loyal. Loyal? You can't even be loyal. You can't be loyal to the skin that you're in because you must don't love it. Loyal? You loyal to everybody but your own. Again, people doing what they want to do. Entrepreneurs, well, we know how this group does. But what is he doing with your platform, sir? You mean to tell me you can't see other entrepreneurs that maybe you admire in the BC? The pot, the, there are a lot of positive ones. You're not going to tell me, oh, I can't find any. Cut the, cut the crap. And maybe... You can get your friends in Hollywood to try to patronize them. We don't want to do that because guess what? We, we, I think these men, like when they like this, they like this, they want to try to get away from as much blackness as possible. They wouldn't dare do that. Other folks do it all the time. And women literally represent the dream. What do you represent? Degradation, self-hating. And this right here is a good example of it. So instead of trying to say, hey, here's what we need to do for our people, you try to it's been said, immerse yourself into a whole nother culture. I want to be with them. They don't want you. They'll like the resources. Get without them and see what happens. The grind, the hustle. When do you speak out when you see black business owners being murdered? How do you, do you do that? Well, that's just them. No, I want the easier. I'm going to run over here with them. Why don't you do a, a podcast, Therese? You got pulled with the with the uh, with the black men, I would imagine. Instead of sitting up here crying, uh, talking about your uh, what do you call it, your your child support, so weak. That's right, amendment or the amendment. Don't take my baby. I'm at thirteen thousand dollars a month. What more do you want from me? To support your child, because the taxpayers are tired of doing it for the majority in the BC. How about that? What is your message, sir, to the fifty billion dollar liability boys? Huh? You can't you can't promote and see like I said before with, with black women, you gotta understand this with this baby mama, baby daddy syndrome. These same men, they think you're not worthy of it. And most of them aren't deserving of it, the title anyway. But they think you're not worthy worthy of it, but they'll watch them. They'll get with another group, another culture, get with those women in the in the hood that I ain't trying to hear about all that. Nah, nah. But they'll get with other cultures and all of a sudden, oh, I, I want this woman so much. I want to be up under them so much. I sure will believe in family. Now you want to, oh, you're the family man now. See, a lot of black women don't want to face that. I mean, the Latin community is grounded in family, lawyer, entrepreneurs. See what I noticed about them? They're very good at uh, building up other groups. Oh, they put them on a pedestal every day and tear down their own. Again, that would go Goldman Sachs. I thought about it. Look at all these so-called black, uh, black rich canes you got running around here. What are they good for? Aside from building other communities. Canes. You shouldn't, uh, for black women, since I know it's a one-way loyalty. I'm not sure you're entitled to it. You shouldn't need Goldman Sachs if a man gave a darn about you. Oh, but times don't happen to it. Came ready to box up at you on an internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh huh. One can say he's homeless and black women will start their cash out like some crazy. A black woman, well, she gonna have to try to do better. These men, they're with you when they are down on near, near the ground. They need you to pick them up. Oh, but well, let them catch a lucky braid, get a couple of bucks. Boop. Can't see you. Why? He wants to go and immerse himself in a whole other community, boo. That's what they do. Embarrassing at all. They're very good at singing praises to other people.
stick together at all odds. Sometime I wish I was born Latino. First of all, and it's just so disturbing. When you're in this group in the BC and you're like family, you believe in our black entrepreneurship, capitalism, you believe in that. Uh, black business owners, oh, we'll be ready to come get you. You can hustle the ground. We'll try to tear you down. So where are the men like uh, Tyrese to go ahead and try to build some of those black business owners up and invest? Where are you? With the think tanks and all that, where are you? You can start a bit, but no, 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 no. Don't want to build us a whole lot of work. I'm just going to go ahead and look at somebody else that does it, which is nothing new, nothing surprising. And no one has had, you know, the experience that we have in America. So you would think anybody would have a brain would double down on that, but, but we don't. There's so much self-hatred going on. Look now. All these illegal immigrants coming over here. Look at the money being given to them. And I said before, when, do you think when they come, they're going to be going, oh, no, look at that Hispanic business owner. I'm not going to go and support him. You're going to give it up for me. Nobody else thinks like that but one group. So where are the black men on Teresa's level to go ahead and call that out? Where, where are they? What are they doing? Just make some money and then stand back and critique the mess that you as a collective have made. And what on about a respect you. And the ones before you made and contribute to, they said silence is violence. And guess what? The same thing applies to the black community. You have all these men with this money and these assets. What, what are you saying? Well, I don't want to get involved in that. But they're quick to go ahead and critique but praise other groups. Embarrassing, embarrassing. Sometimes I wish I was born Latino. Insult to your black mother. You done you you hauled this in your belly for nine months and all the issues and then gave birth to this. I'm sorry. Any black woman that's sitting up here, you know. If that's what you want to do when it gets tough, you're up here playing uh, over and over again, baby mama. That that's on you, boo. Hitching your wagon to a loser. And even those that have money, your, your brain, how you think. Straight up, a self-hating behind loser. Ain't nobody jealous of you. They say marriage ain't a flex. And neither is being a baby mama to a broke down bus dust bucket. A self-hating one. And see, people don't understand, when you try to get women to see about, you know, life is business, that's the whole thing about it. Ain't nobody sitting up here like a fool. Oh, well, Mary, because he cute, he got some light brown eyes. He got some swag. No, well, it's business. So the sooner you can see that that is business, you're going to be careful of your partner. You understand? That's the whole idea behind it. Oh, he kill you. He got some swag. And excuse the expression. When things get better, I hope you can come and rescue your beautiful ass. Because I see right now the professional baby mama having a hard time. Where is he? Six figure baby mamas, you thought you could handle it out. Where is your man? Trying to make demands. Where, where, can he at least keep his child or his children? You, what, Where is he? You know what happens? They run off. Oh, I, I look at situations, I see that. I'm like, what in the world is this? What in the world is this? Where, are, where, where is your baby daddy? What can the men do for you? So, hey, care to see the poverty at your own risk. Man, they I tell you, anybody with low self-esteem, all I gotta do is find a black a, a, a black boo like this right here on the screen. They'll build you up. Sometimes what about sometimes I wish I could wake up and we in our community, we could wake up and love each other. He gotta go. You wanna be a whole another culture. People do what they wanna do. Some black women still don't wanna face it. Also, I'm not coming to my oh, black, black women submit to your men. 
what the hell am I going to submit to you for? You sitting up here. Let's say just an example. We need to come up with $5,000 by Monday. He told my, I got three bucks on it. Well, honey, you sure as hell can't help our situation. What the, I'm going to keep it real. So we need five G's by Monday and you looking at me. How much you have on it? Kang, I got $30. Boy, you better get the hell up out of here. I'm going to call it like it is because I ain't finna come off the full five for oh hell to the now. You are per- in my purse. But no, in black coat, you're supposed to listen to him. Yeah, I listen to him. I, I said, this woman sounds ridiculous. And she's entitled to her opinion as I am my. You sound like a fool. Listen to him. Don't worry about uh he making more money. I can make money sitting at the house. I'm still mad at myself about Friday. I said, Friday should have been for me a $10,000 day. I'm sitting up here doing some other stuff and all that. I'm, I'm Piss myself off. I'm so mad at myself. I should have made ten thousand dollars. All I made was three thousand on Friday. I could throw this laptop, but I did it. So, hey, <laughs> I'm pissed. At, I'm like, girl, uh, that's all I have was thirty three hundred dollars. And it ain't a bad day, but dang, that should have been a ten thousand dollar day if I had just waited. Oh wait, man, I'm still pissed about that. I don't miss my money opportunity. That should have been a ten thousand dollar day for me. Done it before. 10,000 easily by getting involved with some other business stuff. Ugh. And as my friend said, Hey, you know, look at it. You, you, you know how to make a living sitting at the house. So it's a small wind. Uh, I wanted a better, greater wind, but things happen. So if I'm going to sit up here and he can do 50 cents a day, it looks like, no, sweetie, I'm the prize. You're trying to come up off me. I don't do com- I do not do men come ups. No, you need to go ahead and uh, keep it moving. But that's what black women are taught. Just pick up one. Don't worry about it. If you need 3000 or 5000 he got 50 cents on it. Or he's going to try to get $7 from his mama. So it looks like everything going to be on me. I'll pass with that. Bye-bye. Boop. Uh-uh, sweetie. I don't operate like that. No, bye bye. And black women do that because they're taught that that's the culture. Stay loyal to them. They won't be loyal to you. You think he would marry a dark skinned black woman? Oh, heck no. You think? I said, look at this loyal. You can't be loyal to yourself. But that's what black women do. And then when they get on, you know how they operate. Love to funnel money. Why can he say, I wish you sometimes, I wish that, you know, our group, we could get together and start mentoring these young men, start supporting our own business owners. We could support the idea of family and not fatherless homes. Stop the negative rap music. I wish we, I could wake up and we as black men are able to build together. No, no, no. They hate the skin. Seeing this right here lets me know you hate the skin you're in. Because see, these actions right here, you can take skin color out of it. You can take skin color out of it. You find this in Asian, Anglo, Sri Latino, Italian. Oh, hell yeah. The loud, the proud Italian. I've seen that T-shirt in uh, so funny uh, at uh, in Boca in Boca Raton. So cute. Um, you can find it in any group. Anybody that's got any darn sense. So why can't you just say you wish our group would go ahead and do these things? And some people are doing it in small groups. We have entrepreneurship. That's the one that gets killed, you know, more in the hood. A black man or woman gets shot and get you know entrepreneurship. Yeah, we we have that. They just kind of get you know murked out, robbed, you know. We have uh, businessmen and women. Who the heck you think Goldman Sachs is investing in? Why couldn't you say, I wish you could wake up, we could put our money together and say, hey, Goldman Sachs, we're going to do this for our people, for black women. Why can't you? Fool, I mean, just emulate, dumb, dumb. Emulate it. No, you got to come up with something so self-hating. I wish, sometimes I wish I was born Latino. They got some lazy Latinos too. They got some baby mama Latinos sitting up on the system. They sure as heck do. 
Why couldn't he just say, I wish we could wake up in our culture, we could promote entrepreneurship, support our businessmen and business women, stop the violence, the grind and hustle, and we can support those that grind and hustle. Why couldn't he say that? This, wow. So it, this is a confirmation to me. We've been saying self-hating. Self-hating. And here you go. And wait a second. If I'm not mistaken, what the girl looked Latino to me that was disrespecting him in Home Depot. Remember the Home Depot incident? It, to me, those people look like they may have been Latino. That was giving you a hard time in Home Depot. Black women, go ahead, go, care to see the poverty deed at your own risk. I wish you well. Your issue that you have, good luck to you. Don't bother me with it because at this point, it's a choice. You sitting up here carrying your oppressor. You sitting up here carrying your oppressor. And then when they turn on you, where is his mama? You ought to be embarrassed. Man, he couldn't be my son. Well, I, could, well, I would never have one of them, you know, give birth to. No, that, that's not going to happen. But I'll be all upside that bald head. I'll be upside that head. Again, remember Esther, uh, what's the show? We were kids, Sanford and Son. You old fish-eyed fool. You old olive... <laughs> you old bald-headed fool. I shouldn't say that. Just being, you know, I'm being a little facetious. Ooh, wait, where is his mama? Ma'am, you gave birth to a self-hating failure. This is an insult to you. I'm not going to even ask for the daddy. We know they, listen, <laughs> MIA on the first day. Sometime I wish I was born Latino. Wow. Woo! I, what the? You know, that's the ones who kill a whole lot of black folks. Those gangs, the, the Latin gangs, they get a, they, they they do kill a whole lot of black folks. Uh, a lot of black men, by the way, if, if we're gonna be specific. Yeah, you, you, you know, you do understand that. And they should have stick together, and they'll stick together to allow you. Some of these people will. I've, I've seen this and get you out of your job and replace it with their own. But you want to go ahead and you wish you were born Latino. You see what is happening here. They forget about, and there are other things, all cultures have their issues. Heck yeah. You never heard of Latin gangs? The cartel and all of that? Oh, we're talking about that. All they want to do is focus on, if you notice, self-hating Negro. Focus on the positive things, but go ahead and elaborate on all the negative things of their own people. Have you noticed that self-hating Negro, a Negro man that works for the Klan, and then some other little junior Negro? I want to be like him too. I want to be like you know. I, you think I'm playing when I say a lot of these black men might as well work for the Klan? Self-hating, putting this out there, programming a young fool that's listening to him. I again, so I'm for, for, for so for the ones that still want to sit up here and try to hold the line. Good luck, try your luck if you like, hun. More embarrassing than self hatred on display. Wow. Anyway, I gotta go. This is it's too much. Woo woo. Where is you? I hope he doesn't have any sick. You, who give him? Oh, who? Who? At this point, you don't have to be unless you, you have to. I'm, ladies, I love you. I'm gonna be honest with you. You keep on putting this out into the world. I'm gonna have to start looking at you too. You keep putting this out. Your, your son. That's why I'm. I'm to the point now. Even some old ladies, I see things differently. When I, I see kind of you see things see things a lot differently dealing with this group. Oh yeah, a whole lot differently. All they can see when they see non black people are positive things. 
that's why they don't speak out. We have been running from themselves. They hate the skin that they're in. Remember that video about Kanye, really quick, about him? He wanted, about someone playing him in a movie. And while he picked the white guy, he mentioned a white guy's name to play him in a movie. It's like, uh, so you're a black man. Even look at those. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So if you want someone to play you, you pick a white man to play you. I guess the white man will have to have a hell of a suntan to put on some what? Makeup? Be okay face? I mean, seriously. That was disturbing. It's like, oh, why? Simply said, let's say if I was famous or something, okay? Who gonna pay, uh, play you? And I'm a black woman. I look like a fool. I will slap myself in my, oh, yeah. And so if it's gonna be like a movie about me, I want Taylor Swift the hell out. Girl, you're gonna get slapped. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Here I am, a black woman. And no offense to Taylor Swift, okay? You know, I, I like her, but some just using her as, as an example. Uh, first of all, she's very white. I'm ve- I'm a brown skinned girl, very brown. I would look like a fool. And you can tell by my voice I'm a black woman. Oh, I want Taylor Swift to play me. Uh, what? Hey, maybe Golden Brook, some girlfriends. Love her. Okay, I'll let Halle Berry have a chance at it. <laughs> oh, Angela Bassett. You know, if it, I mean, you know, if I was like, I'm a, if I was older than her, you know what I'm saying? She's just, I mean, she's just gorgeous, you know. Oh, my God. Angela Bassett. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would sound crazy. A black, and I want Taylor Swift to play me. Girl, have you lost your mind? It doesn't make sense. It's nonsensical. But it does make sense when you're self-hating. I would think, what the hell? What? Huh? Let's talk to somebody. What if I'm going to do a movie about Cynthia G? Cynthia G, it's going to be a movie. Let's see if it's going to be a movie. And I know she would never. And then she came up with, well... Let's see, who's gonna play me? I'll let J Lo. Ain't no way. J Lo's older than Cynthia G, so but I'm just an example. That don't even make sense. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Penelope Cruz, say what? She would never. Now I can go ahead and let Beyonce play me. Okay. <laughs> you feel? But I'm a little crazy. Sound crazy. Who's gonna play you? Simply said Taylor Swift. Ooh, I would be done with me. I'm about self hating. Kanye saying that. Uh, uh, yay, him saying that. Yeezy. It speaks volume. So you you pick a white man's name to play you, but you're a black man. I mean, is he gonna put some extra makeup on? Then it'll be a bit, I, huh? Now this one here, I wish I was born Latino. I don't know what more you need. These, in my opinion, I just see of some self hating black men. That's why they do what they do. Pass wealth to everybody but their own. That's why. Hit your wagon to a self hitting one if you want. They'll use you just to get up. I wish I was born Latino. And do you know how how, how they treat some a lot of them treat uh dark uh, uh skinned Mexicans? Are you cr- kidding me? Speaks volumes. That's why even on my streaming services, I'm sorry to say, when I see it's one of them, it may be a movie that interests me. I won't watch it. Oh, I won't watch it. I saw, I saw, look at the, oh, not, mm mm-mm. When I see when it's one of them, I have a feeling about, no, you're not making it off me. I'm not going to get my numbers. 
you're not gonna get my support i won't stream it Mm -mm. no 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 not today not tomorrow in hell not ever this right here it speaks volume we, we've been telling you self-hating self-hating and you wonder why you wonder why but i know black women i'm sorry a lot of black women they want to hold on to this illusion oh i'm gonna help do all oh, these men support but they sure want to support a black woman a lot of mammoths they're gonna go ahead and hold these women up black women say about yourself if you are subscribed to my patreon put a uh check it out i did a video today unfortunate true story uh if that doesn't wake you up i something like that i wish it hadn't happened but it happened so on patreon check it out i think i called it what what a jealous um um a jealous mother is dangerous you already know who it was big mama but they'll support these sons uh, quick, quick, black women so what have you gotten out of supporting uh this stand by your man syndrome what what have you gotten again like i said before that would goldman sachs investing in black women they are it should be embarrassing i mean you are why can't your black man do it for you they letting you know at every turn what michael jordan doing for you the money he spent on his wife's yacht can you imagine that's just on a darn yacht what are they doing for you but hey keep hope alive K keep doing that when do these men speak out let's say you're in a they're in a racial, in a racial relationship okay do that but w when do they ever speak out against the violence against black women in the community against their own but very few do they call themselves i'm gone i'm done with them take my what i'm gonna sit over here and immerse myself into another culture this right here just proves it but hey you keep up alive sweetie you you, you do that it's like a they need to be deprogramming and actually i'm finding them rather frightening oh rather frightening Finding them rather frightening. Your mind is messed the hell up. Anyway, oh, gotta go. Uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Dust buckets, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag beware. This is a hot mess.